Hey everybody, it's All About Vehicles here, and today I'll be talking to you about the Chevrolet Uplander and why people tend to not look at it as a reliable minivan, and why, seriously, it is slightly better than the Grand Caravan, but people do overlook it. But here's why, and here we go. So, the Chevy Uplander was built from 2005 through 2009. It came either in a 3.5 liter V6 or a 3.9 liter V6. 3.5 liter means the base model. 3.5 liter was pretty much primarily to the SWBs, or the short wheelbase vans. And the 3.9s were all the long versions, which were 7 and 8 seaters. And also, you can get them in Versa Track all-wheel drive. It was only available... Well, it was available from 05 to 09, but you have to have the high trim, and it was an option. It did not come standard. The other vans that are related to the Uplander are the uh, Pontiac Montana SV6 Saturn Relay. The, what else? There's one more. There's one more. Oh, and that's it. Buick Terraza. Um, the Buicks and the Saturns only came in 3.9 liter V6s, but the Pontiacs and Chevys were like the lower grade, and they they're really hard to find those in all-wheel drive, and also heated leather seats. The Saturn Relay and Buick Terrazzo both came with 3.9 liter V6s, and you could easily get them with all-wheel drive and heated leather seats. And if you can find one, you can get them for under five grand usually. They're pretty damn cheap vans. The good thing about Chevys, they did have an electrical problem. All four versions of them, the Upland, the Terrazzo, the Relay, and the Montana. But, not only did they have electrical problems, they had a few more problems. They had computer problems. They had... Uh, they had differential problems. Transmissions were kind of crap. If... If you can get one in decent shape for under five grand that doesn't need any work and electronics are okay, you're good. I know somebody who owns a 2006 Chevrolet Uplander with 293,000 kilometers on it. And that thing's beat to hell. And it's an LT with leather. But it's no heated seats and it's not all-wheel drive. But, you know, in many ways it beats the Grand Caravan because the Grand Caravan's transmissions are a boom disaster. They blow up every five seconds. And also, the Chevy Uplander might not have stow and go. So what? You take the seats out. It's still a minivan. It looks kind of like a pickup truck, so why the hell not? That's where the Grand Caravan does beat the Uplander with the Stone Go. But the Chevy, I like it because that 3.9 was used in every vehicle. When that 3.3 V6 was only primarily to the Grand Caravan, so was the 4 liter and the 3.8 liter V6. So, definitely if you want a reliable minivan, you don't want to pay the price in the premium of a Dodge Grand Caravan from you know, 08 to 2010. Get, pick yourself up a Chevrolet Uplander or whatever, Montana, Pontiac Montana SV6 or Saturn Relay or Buick Travel. But remember, you can only get the Pontiac Montana and the Chevrolet Uplander in short wheelbase versions. The rest of them are long wheelbase with 3.9 liters. So, you pick your poison, you buy what you want, and definitely you can get them under 5 grand. I'm all about vehicles. I'll talk to you guys later. And... Yeah. See you guys tonight at 6.30. See you guys all there. Ta-da.